Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Queen's Wish to the Tormentor, and we are in um, we are in the Deep Grove. It'll probably pop up here. Yep. Mm -hmm. This path is narrow and dark. The foliage overhead is so thick that it feels like a tunnel. It's grim and claustrophobic. Occasionally, a branch falls on your head. You have found one of the sacred groves of the Carnus. The tracks in the mud aren't fresh. You can hear faint humming coming from deeper in the woods. I can't go. Beware. The grove lashes out. I can't go farther. So this is Druindy? Durandy. There is a lone human kneeling in the grove, in this grove. He is a teenager. Hmm, okay. Definitely on the young side to be this far out in the wilderness, yet he is wearing the ceremonial garb of the druids of the Cranus. Cranus? Yeah, Cranus. He stares into the woods to the north, offering bowls in front of him. When you get close, he gives you a quick look. This is not your place, Haven. I am Durandi, and I can and I am combing the woods. You will only make them angrier. What are you doing? The grove is angry. Can you not feel it? Perhaps you are too old. It lashes out at us, at the good people of the Cranus. It must be calmed. So why is the grove angry? Look to your own actions, Haven. Your governor devours us for their own wealth and power. And how are you calming the grove? I bring you gifts. I speak to it. I listen to it. There is a rotten part within, and it must be cut out. I don't know how, though. So why don't you know? He rolls his eyes a little. Because to fully see, I must enter the grove. I can't see the details from this far, from, from this far away. So why don't you just walk farther in? Because the wolves will devour me. That is how sick and angry the grove is. I must do my work from here. There is a, okay, so, um, there are bones in some of the sacred groves. Why? You have actually succeeded in making him nervous. The Carnus has its own ways, Haven. We follow our treaty and we live our lives as we choose. Hmm, so is there anything I can do here? He thinks about this for a moment. The grove is doing harm. It must be calmed. However, you can't be trusted to do it. Haven hurts as much as it heals. You should leave. I am from Haven. I will go where I want. <clears throat> the young druid stares into the shadows. He is ignoring you now. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I'm here. I'm set here on assignment. I have an assignment. But it didn't give me that option to tell them I had an assignment. You enter a grove. It is a huge relief to be able to see the sky again. Ancient, weather-worn stones poke out of a thick undergrowth. The smell of grass and fallen leaves is overpowering. Dominating your attention, however, are the wolves. There are three of them. They are enormous, ten feet tall at their shoulders, and raw magic radiates. Oh, there they are. Off of them. They are angry, imposing, and a bit hungry. Yet they are kind enough to not attack you. Instead, they wait for you to approach. Really. Beast of the Grove. Okay, well, it did say odd... Uh, so, so do we talk to you? The wolf looks at you with distaste and a bit of confusion. It is full of the magical energy of the forest, but it isn't intelligent enough to communicate. Maybe one of the other wolves will be more helpful. Oh, uh, that one isn't either. Uh, and so when, when do wolves live in nests? Okay. Um, this enormous wolf looks down at you. Its eyes are pure, feral ice, and stinks and strings of drool hang from its jaws, yet it is in control for now. I'm sorry, it, it is in control. For now, it is willing to face you. It stares at you with un unmistakable, unmistakable cunning intelligence. It lets out a low growl of warning. It can't speak, though it doesn't have to. It doesn't speak, though. It doesn't have the, bo the vocal cords for it. It is just a growl. It just growls. Oh my god. It lets out a low growl of warning. It can't speak though. It doesn't have the vocal cords for it. It just growls and looks down at you, the world's largest dog. Betch? Um, stare the wolf in the eyes. The wolf uh, evenly meets your gaze. He won't be out 
Alpid, Alp Alpid in his own grove. Um, so what is wrong? The wolf struggles to communicate. It can't talk, after all. Instead, it looks intensely at the empty, abandoned nest in the northwest corner of the grove. There was another wolf there? The three wolves turn and face north. One of them points in the direction with the forepaw. And you don't like it. The wolves let out a deep, angry growls. The wolves let out deep, angry growls in response. Tell me more about this wolf. Okay, you want it brought back here? The wolves shake their heads. You want it destroyed. The wolves bear their mighty fangs. They are most unhappy about it, but the meaning is clear. There is a sound of groaning wood and breaking branches. You look to the north and see that a bunch of trees have moved aside, opening a path. I'll see what I can do. The wolves back away, clearing your path. So, yes, they want me to kill it. Or no, they don't. <laughs> uh, I guess. I guess. Well, we got two different doors, it looks like. Hmm. The narrow paths of the grove extend farther into the valley. The trees are older. The undergrowth is thicker. It's almost pure nature, barely even seen by humanity. When you enter, you hear howls. There are many wolves in the deep groves calling to each other. As you progress, you step on a twig. There is a tiny snap, barely perceptible. Yet a moment later, all of the wolves are silent, alerted, and waiting. So if I went the other way, would it not have done that? Okay, so we've got an, a winter wolf. Um, we better do this. Just for shits and giggles. Alright, can you be... Yeah, you can be bled. Yeah. Okay, that's 48. They're really not that... Oops, sorry. Oh, well, that almost took him out. Hmm. And we'll just go ahead and do this. I don't want to kill wolves. No, I don't. Okay, let's see here. Oop, ran out of room. Oh, they're coming around the other way. Yeah, they are. Um, let's put a construct over here. Coming back around. He does do a bit more damage, and I think he takes more damage too, the construct does. I think I have to go on my bow now because he's in the way. They come from behind us. Okay, that one is almost dead. Yep, I knew there was one this way. And you're coming that way too. Alright. Um, well, that wasn't very smart, was it? Ok, 
Okay. Oh, it doesn't, it, they weren't coming around. Hmm, that's odd. I don't think there's any behind us. Oh, they're going around the little lake or whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. I suppose you were on your... Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's a nest. take us to the other door. It does. All right, let's see what's up in here. Okay, we got a whole bunch more of them. And oops. Hold on. Just going to keep arranging them here. Why we can. Um, you happen to be on your blade. That's good. And since we've got them all right here, get rid of this one. But it should die. Yep, I thought so. Okay. Done. I can do whirlwind. Oh, don't do the ice on us. What does that do? Weakness. Okay. Do you probably need to do... Oh, I got rid of that, didn't I? I did! And you're done. Okay, so there's whoop nests all over that, you know. Like they live in nest. <laughs> like they live in nest. Hmm. See a chest. I have a feeling this is a big bad whoop. Beast of the Grove. So yeah, we really have no choice. We have to kill it. Mm-hmm. We have no choice. Let's see here. Can you be bled? Yes, you can. You can be also um, poisoned. You do have a stun resist, though. Okay. That'll work. And let's go ahead and do blinding blow. So you're weakened. Then, um, got there. Oh, the path opens up onto another grove. Again, you can see the sky. There is another huge wolf here. It looks like the three you met earlier, except it is larger, dirtier, angrier. You can sense its fury. It paces back and forth, growling and drooling. It is the rage of the forest made 
made flesh, you can already feel that there will be no conversation with this beast. All it wants is to be, all it wants is to expend its in anger on humanity. Live, live, live. No, if I can talk. All right. Um. The foul beast lets out an angry howl. Its cry for help echoes through the forest. Yeah, I know. You're calling to your friends. You're calling your friends, aren't you? The wolf lunges forward and grabs its target in its massive jaws. The beast charges to the edge of the grove. At the same time, roots grow out of the ground and grab at your ankles. Oh, she so moved me. Okay. So it grabbed Lurga. Lurga's over there. We're all ensnared. Can I reach you from here? I don't think I can. Oh. Well, I was the only one who was ensnared. Oh, she's not either. Um... You can't do anything. Um, can you shoot it from there? Nope. What can you do though? Can you heal anybody? No. Oh, what'd you do to him? Okay, but I can do something to you. You are, yeah, you're not that high. You do have weakness on you. Let's get bleeding on you some more. All right, can we now do... Forty, that'll work. Oh, you are angry. you Dude, you are angry. I'm gonna charge you. I'm gonna charge you. There you go. Now can we do... All right. Okay. So you're down to 24. But my construct hasn't done anything. I think my construct is stuck, isn't he? Then, I don't know. It's not doing anything. It's just sitting over there like do 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 this wolf was the manifestation of the rage of the grove. It has been destroyed. The groves are not emotionally complicated beings. When the anger is destroyed, the grove calms down. You immediately feel less threatened and claustrophobic. The row near this grove will be less threatened now, for a time. This bit of rage has been pruned. But if nothing is done, another is sure to grow. Yeah, that's the problem. We need to get rid of... We need to get rid of your bed. Who are you? Ritlings! Ritlings! Okay, so there's my boxes, my... And there's one over here, too. Okay, so... Um... You Ritlings are nothing compared to what we've already been through! Um... Let's get rid of you. There we go. There, a construct. Finally, you're doing something. Hmm? Okay, so we got boxes up here. Oop, we got another Rutling. Okay, so we got uh, a brutal band. Oh, two plus physical damage. Let's just give it to you because we're out of room. 
Ooh, ruby, ruby, emerald. Yay, gotten some money back. Oh, where is this going? Hmm, okay, let's go over here first. Because as far as I know, there was only one way in here. Um, too far back, aren't you? Okay, can you come up? Oh, damn it. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Next time we'll get you. We can get you, maybe, huh? Yep. These are rats. These are spew rats, which means they probably do. Um, they probably do poison damage. Let's get rid of them. What did they just do to her? Confusion. Okay. Okay. So we got one door to get into. Rare dies. Ooh, a breeder ruin. What is that for? Bloodlighting. One plus to bloodlighting. Hmm. That's different. And... This is one of those where it really doesn't have anything on it because you have to augment it. Cool. So let's figure out where this door is going. Oh. Oh. Um. You find a morbid sight. This grove is littered with bones. Some recently placed here. Some old. All of them sinking into the foam. Loam, all of them are loom, loam, all of them scraped clean. Roots reach out. Yeah, they roots reach out of the earth, grab them, and very slowly pull them down. All of the bones are human. Some look bent with age. Others are clearly from children. None of the bones show signs of breakage or weapon blows. This is identical to what you saw in the last grove. This seems to be a regular feature. Yeah, it is. It's they're. Oh, this opened up now. Okay, let's talk to him. I have pruned out the corrupt part of your glade. Now at last you have gotten a scrap of respect out of this royal youth. He looks up at you. You did? You cut out the evil that was attacking us? It was a big wolf. Durandus nods. That isn't surprising. I thank you, Haven. You did good for us. I ask that you leave now before you accidentally do harm. The role in... Sali will want to show gratitude. He turns and looks back into the trees. Well, this is a new area that opened up. Okay. So, is this where he was staying? Or somebody was, anyway. Ooh. We were told not to loot to take... Um... Hmm... So we were told not to take stuff out of the the treasure out of the grove. But I didn't take any sap, did I? I think I did. Oh no. But this is actually somebody living here. Hmm. So I got ten gold for all of that. So that was just a fast way to get out of here. Okay, I guess that's kind of what they were doing. Interesting. So I need to go back to... I need to go back here. All 
right, the druid is over here, so we can talk to him now and get that taken care of. Uh, Deep Grove has been calm. You tell Druid Mariana the tale. He nods satisfied. You have done a good deed for us, and I will make sure that you are credit that you get credit for it. Word of your kindness will spread. So I have dealt with both of the nearby gro groves. You have. You practiced both. You pacified both groves, and you did so with care and respect. I promise that our people have heard about it. Tales about Prince Princess Corinne are already being told in the most remote glens of the Cranus. Also, I have managed to get a small reward for you. A few local clans want to thank you for your work on our behalf. I have made sure that some iron will be sent to Fort Grove 2 to aid in rebuilding. Thank you so much, Princess. He also gives you a piece of amber. Sometimes the groves give this to us. I want you to have some to show our thanks. Is there anything else I can do? Not here, no. There are angry groves in the mountain half of the Cranus Woods. I can't speak for those. Arasa can tell you more. Sure. Thank you. Okay, so we got that done. And then we have to go to... Um, so he is in... Where is he at? He's in the meeting hall. I think this is it. The meeting hall? Yes. Okay, so we need to tell him... Uh, where is he at? Oh, I'm sorry. I walked right by him. He's right here. Oh, uh, the grand I'm going to discuss your petition. Okay. We'll try to heal a forest. Um, I have pacified one of your groves. I have pacified all of them. You tell the Rasa your story. It sounds like you pruned out the rot successfully. Already, I am learning that the area is safer. Quieter woods, fewer monsters. This is a great relief. It proves that you are capable of doing what we need. Now that we know what we are doing, we can begin to actually deal with my petition. First, I must ask. You calmed the grove. You removed the damage. Did you leave the healthy wood intact? I was able to make peace with the grove. It is intact. This is what the druids told me, but I am glad to hear it from you directly. It is a good thing. If it was not so, the Cranus would be very angry. Our, our noble work can continue. The Cranus woods are watching you. They want to see if Haven can truly understand our ways and help us. Um, what exactly is going wrong with the Cranus Woods? The magic of our forest sustains and feeds and protects us. Um, no, I already know that. Let's talk about something else. Um, what is the next grove to visit? Um, well, it is not really a grove, just a very dense forest that has decided to come to life. Unfortunately, it is the it is the Ruska Pass, the dense the densely wooded valley that connects the north and south half of the Cranus Woods. It is an unusual place. It was a great place for outsiders to visit. Now its trees walk. It will not outsiders pass. Even loyal Roe have a hard time forcing their way through. We can't find out what caused this change. You need to. You will be allowed in. So it was a tourist destination? It is a beautiful place. The trees against the mountains, the waterfalls, the cliffs. It is the most beautiful place in the Rocha when it is not attacking us. So how is the pass unusual? The Ruska Pass is not a sacred grove. There is no intelligence there, or there wasn't. It is not really remote. It's a major road, yet the natural magic there has always been strong. It adds to the beauty. So you say I will be allowed in? Lately, when outsiders have tried to travel the road through the Ruska Pass, they have been blocked. Trees fall, roots tangle up wagon wheels. When the sun goes down, rootlings come. I have seen several druids. I have sent several druids there. They will force the pass to calm down enough for you to be able to enter. And what should I do when I am there? Find when the pass is attacking and cut out the rot. The cause of the problem is a mystery to us. The Ruska Pass has not acted this way in our memory. Okay, um, okay, that's all I need for now. So I have a new quest, Quest Advanced. Okay, to pass it by the groves, you must reach the north half of the, however, the only route there. Okay, 
cool. So I need to go back to my fort to level up. Which is really just kind of like across the river, but I have to go out of my way to get there. So uh, it's just easier to do this. And we're there! Boop! Okay, um... 27, current resource... Oh, I am getting more. It's this Quicksilver that's going to kill me. Mm-hmm. It's the Quicksilver that's going to kill me. So what... Um, oh, yeah, leveling up. So my cultural... I got that leveled up. Mercies... I don't want to think I want to work on that right now. I need more combat. Um... So this is stunning shot. I can do knockback, fast bend, or this is a passive. Increases your maximum health by 10%. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Do you have that? You do have that already. Okay, so let's do your cultural. You already have that one. Um, to get this one, you can earn this. Someone in the rock. Okay, so I have to learn this ability, which is Mad Fury. Flame and Spear. Wow, okay. So I can do magic, even though I'm not magic. That's interesting. Um, fast Fent. Next attack with your weapon is a Cunning Fent, and you will be faster and do more damage for several turns. Yeah, let's do that one. What do I need to add to mine? Oh, uh, did I just add something? I thought I did. Didn't I? I guess I didn't. Thought I did. Okay, so he did. He's got fast bent. Oh, I forgot to add that. And then fast bent. Okay, here we go. And then you. I want to add this back on. I did like that. Okay. So we're going to do life drain because that helps with hers. And then your magic girl. This is shockwave. Yeah, that doesn't ma matter to you. So just, this is shockwave. Okay, so I can increase the damage of some of these the poison. Let's just do the shockwave and wave will increase them as we go along. Okay. Shockwave. Shaka shaka. Okay. Shaka shaka. Do I have a lot of stuff to sell? I think I do. Maybe I should build my apothecary, but I don't think I can I don't think I can buy it. Um I do have two. I can build no I don't. I need two and only have one. But I can do a weaving room and a carpenter and a sorry carpenter and a barracks. Okay, all right, come on. So let's do that. Um, I want my pocket carry to go up there. So we're going to build this, make a building, make a building, yeah, that's not what I wanted to do, I meant to do this one, okay, so we're going to place, oh, come on, really, girl, just get with the program, okay, so we got a weaving room, alrighty, that is going to help me supposedly get a bigger, I want a bigger backpack. Every time you buy two new weavers, the size of your backpacks increases by one. To get a bigger backpack, install new weavers. Okay, yep, so now I now have a bigger backpack. So I wanted to do the weaver. And then this is going to be the carpenter. Um, I want to sell something. That, yes. Yeah, it is bigger. It's got one extra slot down here. I think he had stuff to sell, I think. No, he didn't. Okay. 
Um, she did. I think we all got shielding rings, so I don't think the brutal. Yeah, I don't think that's. Um. um two percent to physical damage. Um, Oh no. I thought we had more than this. Shielding ring, that's what I wanted to get rid of. Okay. Let me see your rares. What do you have? So, your bows. I think I'm still. Oh, a U bow. Is it better than. Mm, no, it's not. How about your shield stem? Um, five, yeah, um, speed penalty on these. <clears throat> what do you have? You have the Danga. Um, it's actually better, but it doesn't have slots in it. Five and two. So it's actually better for me to physical damage. This is sixty percent, sixty percent. Even though this says this is this is more. The Danga Butler Buckler is exactly the same, and the other one has automate automate. Oh, I can automate it. Uh, augment it. Blah blah blah. Um. No shields. Yeah. yeah. I want to sell. Okay. Let me get out of here. I'm all confused here. What I'm doing? I'm getting confused. Okay. All right. So we want to sell. I want to look at her wand. Um, let's go ahead and sell. Oh, I need to see your wares. That's what she uses. Okay. So is this better? I don't. I. She's got an arcane dagger. Um. It's augmented, so it's seventeen to twenty-seven. This is eighteen to twenty, and does weakness. Five percent hit chance. Hmm. So it's not as good. It does more damage, but this one does without the augmentation. Five percent hit chance and has a zero speed bonus. I don't know what that means. This is a weakness for two turns. Fifty percent. So it takes a Hmm. I like the fact that you can augment it. Well, this one's augmented though too for magical damage. No, I don't think it's worth it. No. What wands then? Um, wand of horn. Fifteen to twenty. No. It's the same. Mm mm. Yeah, we've already looked at her. Okay. So we have one more. Let's build it over here. So I don't. What was this going to be in here? I think this is going to be the. I don't have anything in here. I will use this for the barracks. There you go. That then gives me bonuses. Yep. 
Okay. Cool. So I'll put the apothecary over here, or in the guard tower, one of the two, when I can get some quicksilver. Hmm. Come on, out of the way, out of the way. So, I think I got all this area done. I have to go across this bridge to get here and then work my way up this way. Or do I want to finish this down? No, this stuff was pretty... This stuff down here was a little nasty. I want to build up my... Yeah, I think I want to build myself up first. So I want to get it to my third fort. The faster I do the forts, the better. And this is on... This is on the other side. Okay. So is it better to go here and then up? Probably, because I'm going to have to come down anyway. Well, I'm not sure if I got all this. No, I didn't. I didn't get all this in. I did not get all this done. You never know what you might pick up along the way. Okay, it's all filled in now. I don't see anything that was worth clicking on. Oop, went on over here. There's something here? Sometimes they hide stuff. Here we go. Someone got off off of a barge and hurriedly dumped a bunch of supplies here. Probably smugglers in the process of getting caught. You find a bunch of portable trade goods. Cool. Okay. Oh, where'd you guys come from? Huge Ritlings. You just showed up out of the blue, did you? Yeah, you guys do that bleeding on us, don't you? Um... And let's see here, poison? Sorry, I was I got a message. Um yeah, they're poison resist, that's what I thought. Okay, so Oh a shockwave. No, that's like that that's like that. Okay. Mmm, you'd have to move up. Move up. Now can you? Now you can. There you go. Bleeding on that one. Okay. And do that on him. You can now do... No, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. Shockwave. Oh, it stuns him. Okay. Hmm. That is nice. Um... Winding blow. I give him weakness. Alright, you're gonna have to. Yeah, even though you're stunned. Alright, let's do this. And. Can we kill. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm in the wrong.
just came out of the blue. It's like, okay. Is it that person that's selling stuff over here? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Yep. Um, see what you have. Anything different? No. So I don't think this was any better than what she had, from what I remember. I keep forgetting to augment her stuff. But actually, it seems like it would be better. Because it has blessing and healing. Or, but she doesn't do that. It's the other one that does. Her. She's the one who does. See, that this whole thing is backwards how they got her set up. Mm hmm. Okay. No one important there. Oop, there's something here. Well, there was. Oh, we got snakes down here. Snakes! They weren't even moving. Rootlings and snakes. Okay. This one. Poison. Always gonna poison everybody. You walk through a thick or orchard, 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 or orchid, or orchard, whatever, orchard, or This is one of the few places in the Carnus woods that have trees planted by humans. You help yourself to a piece of fruit as you pass. It is unnaturally large, juicy, and delicious. Really, that was kind of. Not very nice. I know where I'm at. I'm down here by the... Yeah, which we still have to do that. We will. I'm just filling in pixels here. Something going on over here. Oh, spiders! Lots of spiders. Okay. Mm, I bet they're. No, they can be bled and poisoned. Okay. Um. Sauna. 
that'll work. Crick. Crick. What am I doing back here? There we go. Oh, you're on your bow. You're done. Hmm, you're just kind of sitting all there, like all together, like perfect. See, you look, you just set yourself up. Mm hmm. Clan who tends to this land greet you. You know that they live in a natural stretch of plains. They didn't clear away any forest to build their home in, and plant their or orchid, orchard. Orchard, that's it. They earn their keep by gathering the unique, the unique herbs and flowers that grow in their woods. They are in demand from alchemists in other lands. It's a profitable business, and this clan is doing better than most. They are entirely friendly to you and have nothing bad to say about Haven. They invite you for a meal and then wish you a happy journey. Okay. Yeah, I know. We already know. It's like, you know, once you get something done... Okay, here we are over here. We need to come up. Oh, this is Ruska Pass. This is Michigan, the Poison Fog. Is that on the other side of the mountain there, though? Hmm. This rocky plain, you find a small group of row in robes. They are gathered around a small hole in the base of the cliff wall. They wave you forward. Okay. When you get close, one of them runs up and starts talking quickly. Warriors, glad you are here. We are of the Arutico, and we have a chance for you to win glory. She doesn't seem to realize that you are from Haven. What? In that hole, beast, we tracked them from. Mist Glen, horrors of a dead grove. We want to study them. We want to see how they react. Will you help us corner them? Sure. The moment you give your agreement, she shouts, It's a deal! Let's see, it's, it's a yay! Time for a scar and a story. As she turns off, she says, You might want to get ready. Uh, for what? Before you can react, the Irud take the opportunity. One of them blows a horn. Monsters pour out of the hole. The Erud nimbly, nimbly step out of out of the way, allowing them to charge straight for you. As combat begins, they watch carefully and take notes. Happily, two of them are kind enough to help you. Probably not kindness, though, just a chance to observe more closely. <laughs> really? Okay. Um. We're not in combat, so I can't do anything. So. We have, what, leaping fiddles, fid fiddlebacks. Okay, sure, sure. Oh, Basculus. Oh, no, they stun us. Oh. And you killed her right off the bat. Who? Who did you kill? It wasn't one of us. Um, okay. So, let's see here. Hellhound. Oh, you can be damaged with fire. Not by much, though, huh? Okay, so we better go ahead and get our disarming everybody. Wow. All right. 
And fire. Oh. oh my god. Stunned again. Okay. Well, it looks like all you're going to be doing is healing everybody. Wow, come on. Everybody's stunned, that's the problem. I should have put poison on them when I had the chance. That's because they're basculus. Well, how come... Can we now do something here? Oh, there went girl now. Wow. Wow. Um... No, I'm stunned. Okay. Can we finally do something again? Yes, you can. All right. So... Okay. Wow. Nasty. All right, heal again. That's me. And then, do I really want to bring him back, though? Hmm, I just did. <laughs> oh, my God. That was nasty. Um. They don't do any. Wow. Okay. Didn't do much help to him. How come you're the only one that's doing anything? Okay, that's fine. Okay, who is that? That's him. Um... This was nasty. And kill him again. He's stunned now, but I'm not. Now you're bleeding. Wow, as the battle wins, you look for the Erud. They are already leaving. As they walk off, they compare notes and, and chat excitedly about what they learned. You poke around in the hole the beasts were hiding in. It smells very bad. You don't find much. Just some scraps of fur and bits of bone and a dusty piece of, piece of amber. Wow, you gain craft your resources. That was nasty. Oh my goodness, that was nasty. <laughs> I go back and heal up again. Wow, creepy, creepy. Um, I assume that probably helped us get some good, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode, and when we come back, we'll do some more exploring. I want to get across. I want to move up this way and get my way up there. So, but we still have this Ruska Pass to do, and this Mist Glen, I mean, it's right there, so... Might as well. Um, 
Yeah. So if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.